This one comes from Facebook. It says, hi, I'm studying for the CompTIA Security Plus exam, and I feel most of the time that it's overwhelming because of the amount of resources or videos to go through. What strategies would you suggest to adopt to make studying a bit more effective? This person is actually studying for Security Plus, but honestly, this applies to every exam out there. There is a bit of information overload that can occur. And what are some strategies to break through this? So what I like to do when studying for any type of exam, first thing I do is I look at the exam guide and the objectives of the exam, and I make myself a little small diagram. Okay, the exam is going to cover 10% of this topic, and I break my studying down. Okay, I'm going to study this topic for a week because it's only 10% of the exam, and then I break it down even more to whichever parts of those exams is more based off the exam guide, and then study it in smaller chunks and not look at it from the exam itself as a whole. Break it down by each domain of the exam and break your studying down like that. And then it gives you more bite-sized chunks so you don't feel like you're drowning in the information overload. Yeah, I think that's a great recommendation. I'll give you a couple other tips that I personally use. Depending on you when you come into it, if you're brand new and you've never done any IT certifications and Security Plus is your first one, it's going to feel very overwhelming because there is a lot of information. If you look at a textbook for it, it's about a thousand pages, right? And you're covering all of that in a video course or practice exams or reading the textbook. Our course for that is about, I think, around 30 hours of video. So it is a lot of information. If I'm coming to a certification because I already have some experience in the field, the first thing I always do is I take a practice exam. And that helps me identify what areas I already know and what areas I'm weak in. For example, Jeremy comes with 20 plus years of experience working IT system administration in the Army. He knows most of Security Plus, but if he just goes and sits down to take it today without even studying, he might fail the exam, not because he doesn't know what he's doing, but because he may know what his bosses tell him to do in the Army, and that may not be the right answer on the exam for the certification, because there is the real world answer and the textbook answer, and on the exam, the textbook answer is what you need to know. So knowing those things are important. Second thing is you mentioned resource overload. One of the things I see a lot of students do that can really cause problems for them is get too much information from too many different sources. I'll use Security Plus as an example. There's really four main people out there that sell Security Plus that are really well known in the industry. I'm one of them, obviously, Jason Dion and Dion Training. Second one is Total Seminars with Mike Myers. The third is Professor Messer at ProfessorMesser.com. And the fourth is Daryl Gibson from Get Certified, Get Ahead. Unfortunately, Daryl Gibson passed away last year, but his content is still out there. His business was sold to another provider, and they are trying to carry on his legacy. He really only did teach Security Plus, but he was really good at Security Plus. And he had videos and a really good textbook. If you like textbook reading for your studying, Get Certified, Get Ahead is an awesome resource. As far as video resources, really, Mike Myers, Jason Dion, and Professor Mestre are the three big guys out there. And I know students who use all three. Some use two of them. Some use one of them. And it really does depend on you and what you find to be most effective. The students who I think struggle the most are the ones who try to take every resource because there are 50 different textbooks out there. There are three, five, 10, 15 different video courses out there. There's a million different practice exams out there. And you can information overload yourself by doing that. So what I usually recommend is pick one good video course or textbook and use that as your main source of studying. And I'm hoping you use mine, but it doesn't have to be mine. You can use Mike, you can use Messer, it doesn't matter. Whoever you choose, choose them as your thing and go through their content. The other thing is find the one that resonates with you. I teach differently than Mike and Mike teaches differently than my Messer and all three of us teach differently. Some of you guys are going to love me. Some of you guys are going to love Mike. Some of you guys are going to love Professor Messer. We all teach differently and that's okay. We just want you to get certified. So pick the one that's going to work for you. Second thing I would do is I would pick two good sources for practice exams. I think ours are awesome. Totally think you should get them. They're over on Udemy, deontraining.com slash Udemy. And usually for about 10 or 15 bucks, you're going to get six full-length practice exams with 90 questions each to really practice what you've studied in that video course or textbook that you bought. And then once you've gone through the second set, so not just mine, you should get a second set, either Messer, Myers, or one of the other big providers out there that is a quality training that has not just the exam question, but the answer and why the answer is right and why the wrong ones are wrong. If you go through two sets of exams like that with six from me and three from Messer or Myers or somebody like that, you've now gone through a thousand questions. You're going to pass the exam, right? You should know at that point if you're comfortable. So that's one of the things I would do is try to minimize the amount of information you get and then test yourself over and over again until you feel comfortable. When you're taking those exams, review those answers, make sure you know what's right and wrong. And if you're studying with Messer or Myers or Dion and you don't like them, or it's hard for you to get through because it's 30 hours of training, that's okay. We may not be the right person for you. Go to somebody else because Mike tends to be a little more entertaining than I do, but he goes on more rabbit trails. I tend to be a little more to the point. 
Messer, I find that his stuff is very much slimmed down and to the point. But if you're brand new, that can actually be difficult because you're missing a lot of information you may need. I've tried to take the middle ground and be entertaining and comprehensive. But again, it does become a 30-hour course, which becomes a lot of material. But that's the thing I would say is pick a good source and go with it. And then practice, practice, practice with the exams. And then the other thing is give yourself a time limit. If you give yourself unlimited time, you will spend a year studying for this thing. If you're studying for Security Plus, it should be no more than two months. With all of our courses at DeonTraining.com, we give you a 60-day pass guarantee because we want you to study in two months and take the exam. If you time limit yourself and you focus, you're going to have much more success than trying to do a little bit every day for six months because by the time you get to the exam at the end of six months, you forgot what you studied six months ago and it's not staying with you.